the doctor comes in and this nigga got like some other guts on his shirt. I'm like, what the fuck? Fucking moment. All you gotta do is say yes. Don't you know what you feel? Let me undress you. Hey y'all, what is good? Welcome back to my channel, Seasons of MK. My name is MK. Um, yeah, <clears throat> today I wanted to have this car conversation because you know, you, you sit and you think when you're driving, I like to drive in silence a lot of the time. And um, I thought coming to talk about a real touchy subject would be what I wanna do today. And that touch, that touchy subject is about abortions. Yeah, let's talk about my abortion. Cause I've had an abortion before. Um, as you may know, I started this channel because I'm in a new season. Um, new season as in motherhood. And it's absolutely fantastic. I love being a mother. There's so many things that you just can't prepare for. Um, nobody can teach you. Nobody can teach you uh, how to become a mother. It just kind of comes naturally. But um, nonetheless, it's a learning experience. So, prior to having my son, I had an abortion. And I'm all about a woman having their choice on what they do with their body. Because if you hear me in previous videos, I be damned if somebody don't tell me what the fuck I'm gonna do with, with my body or what comes out of my body. So <clears throat> all this pro-lifer, blah, 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 like you know, shut the fuck up. Everybody has their own opinion. Everybody makes their own decision. Nobody knows the story on why people get abortions, what happened to make them get that abortion and things of those that nature. Like. It's all that person's choice. So if you are the, oh, you shouldn't have no abortion type of person, you know, slow to you. But I'm all, it's your motherfucking choice over here. So I respect your opinion, you respect mine. Keep it G, keep it moving. But, um, ooh, it, it's been a few years. I had my abortion a few years ago. Um, and I'm gonna tell you the tea to be honest, and a lot of people don't know, but I actually had two abortions, and I tell you that was like the mo most emotional I've ever been in my life. Um, my first abortion, I was dealing with my baby daddy, <laughs> and obviously, we have unprotected sex. Like, let's just be real. Having unprotected sex can lead to having a child. But after the first time I got pregnant, we were not at the point where we are now. Um, we're not in a relationship or anything like that, but it was earlier in our journey of knowing each other. And I am an actress, so, I don't, I didn't have time um, for having a baby, you know. I was strictly on my, I'm acting shit, you know. And honestly, I'm still on that, but I allowed myself to take that step back because, hey, sometimes it costs you. But anywho, <clears throat> we were early in and knowing each other and stuff like that. So I was already like, eh, I don't really know, don't really want to do that. And <clears throat> with getting to know him and starting my career, I just didn't feel comfortable. Didn't feel comfortable, didn't want to do that. Uh, where the fuck? I mean, this nigga up front, but I still gotta get over it. So I ain't even gonna, I'ma just stop in the middle of the street. Cause I gotta make a left, y'all. And you know how people act when they don't want you to get back in front of them and shit. Uh, so I'ma just stay in the left turn of lane. All right, nigga, you gone. But um, 
yeah starting my career doing all that good jazz was not trying to slow the road especially not having a baby by a man that i'm fond of but didn't really know too deeply at the time i could have went i just don't want my motherfucking camera to fly off the fucking thing okay i'm gonna go god damn i ain't even a nigga see if y'all wasn't right here i'd have been floated there you yee yee okay but if i yee yee y'all gonna ski ski okay i ain't trying to have y'all flying across the car and shit so i'm trying to drive while modest but anywho um yeah didn't want to have a baby at the time and let me tell you what my experience having abortion was like i went to this office I feel like a lot of the abortion clinics, their offices be looking kind of sketchy. That's just my opinion though. <laughs> Not sure how other people's abortion clinics look, but mine's was looking a little eh. And I go in there, me and my mom are in there, the abortion, they be taxing for them bitches. I got the surgical abortion. And it's where they go in and suction or suck out the embryo out of your uterus and yeah um, depending on how far along you are it can be more uncomfortable so you have the option to get some type of like I don't want to say sedation but it's like a heavy it's fentanyl you get they dose you with fentanyl and that shit is strong as fuck okay strong as fuck cause I'm sitting there like nigga but you have to pay extra for that, of course. So I'm sitting there with my mom like, you know, I, I really, I don't know. I'm crying because I don't want to do this. But at the same time, I'm not ready. And boom, we talked about it. It's fine for me to go in the back. She can't come in the back with me. I'm sitting in the room for a while. The room is cold, absolutely fucking freezing. They tell me to get undressed for them the waist down. So I do so. And I'm in there waiting in the freezing fucking room. The nurse comes in there. And um, she basically, I guess, lets me know that the doctor's going to be in in a second or whatever. I'm like, okay. The doctor comes in. Now, this is what really fucked me up at first. The doctor comes in and this nigga got like some other guts on his shirt. I'm like, what the fuck? What nigga? What what's going on, bro? Like and before I could really even converse with him about anything, uh they shoot me in the arm with the fentanyl. That shit kicks in quick. But no matter how quick it kicks in, the nigga like was like he didn't give a fuck he really didn't he he gets paid so much money to do this shit so he put gave me the shot and went straight to work i'm i literally was like bro can you let me feel the fucking shit first like i was literally like bro can can i feel the shit first and that's exactly what i said because i'm like i feel it but i ain't feeling it like that like nigga you gonna have to pump your fucking brakes nigga and so he starts suctioning and i can feel it it's like the uh, heavy cramping a lot of pressure and a lot of discomfort but i'm gonna tell you this even before the surgery the most intense moment is when you're sitting in that room and you're you're like talking to yourself about the decision you made because when i first found out i was pregnant i was crying it was some time I, I was letting some time go by it was like i i uh had my abortion at eight weeks and five days um so i was going back and forth with the decision because i'm like yeah i want to be a mom but this ain't the time but that time when you're sitting in that room by yourself in the fucking cold and you got about 15 20 minutes just to sit and think to yourself 
you can only imagine how much emotion and how many thoughts was running through my head. Cause I was sitting there contemplating like, am I making the wrong decision? If I got pregnant, did I get pregnant for a reason? What am I gonna do? Am I, am I a bad person for doing this? And as I sat there, I talked to my unborn child and I was apologizing, telling that baby how much I love that baby. Oh, I love that baby, but I just was not ready. And how sorry I am for summoning you into this realm partially to not even allow you to live fully. I was bawling my eyes out. I mean, bawling my eyes out. I felt horrible. And I, I don't want to say I didn't know what to do, but I just didn't feel like the time was right for me. So I was uh, as I was bawling my eyes out, apologizing and just telling that baby how much I love that baby I just went through with it had the surgery and it was quick but you know it was intense and when I tell you the feeling of how I felt afterwards was, oh my God. One, being basically doped up on that fentanyl was crazy. People be doing this as a drug and that shit is strong as shit. So one dose over and it's over for your ass. But um, it was so scary. Because people use fentanyl as a drug just to get high. That shit is frightening. I was so doped up off of that. That I couldn't even fucking talk. I was weak as fuck and I couldn't speak, man. Like, they took me into a another room after he, he does the surgery to have you sit there for a few and then they gave you this paperwork and they're talking to me like I can even understand what the fuck they're saying. I'm so far out of it. Like, I, I couldn't even put my own fucking panties on. Like, they put a pad in my panties for me and they helped me put my panties on and my pants on. And she's talking to me. I, I'm over here. And then after that, she's, you know, basically giving me instructions on what to do how to proceed afterwards she walks me to the front to my mom and my mom you know she latches arms with me and we're about to walk out and as we're about to walk out you know I can just remember like not really having any stability not being in my wherewithal like that shit was so fucking scary and when we get in the car and sit down like I said I can't even talk y'all I'm over here like telling my mom I just, like that's literally how it was and as much as you know the abortion hurt me the, the fact that I couldn't even control myself that I couldn't talk and communicate how I was feeling hurt me even more. Because to not have control of yourself and be able to communicate it, that shit is fucking wild. Just literally trying to tell her how tired I was and how I feel. And I couldn't even muster up the words to properly communicate that to her. It tore me apart. It absolutely tore me apart. I was sitting there going through the fact that now I just got rid of my unborn child. 
you know I can't even fucking talk I'm tired out the ass I'm like it's just a lot that you go through as a woman especially when you make that decision because I mean there really is nothing you can do at that point so <sighs> that shit was really tough like that was probably the hardest part for me and a lot of people may not go through that same thing because some people may not pay for the the uh, drug or whatever so you don't feel it some people will just be some thugs and go through feeling the shit but I, I wasn't trying to take that chance but when I did that man it was it was something else and I honestly I don't know like he could have been a dose close to a fucking overdose because like I said I had two my second one I felt the effects of the fentanyl but I didn't feel it to the extent that I felt it with the first doctor because I didn't have I didn't go back to him after I saw their guts and shit on his shirt I was over it but the second abortion I had uh, same with my same baby daddy he is the I got pregnant with the guy that I'm that I have a baby with now Jesus um I was pregnant and still was not ready and let me tell y'all this after your first pregnancy it is easy easy as fuck to get pregnant easy as fuck to get pregnant so you have to be oh i'm speeding you have to be careful you have to be careful um but again wasn't ready had another abortion this clinic looked a lot nicer um and it was full of women and they were kind um the first one was real sketchy and it was a man who really didn't give a fuck about his patients. Um, but yeah, got fucking an abortion and I was tore up because I'm like, dog, I, I can't keep doing this. I don't believe in birth control either. Um, I don't want to use something that can dictate what my body does like stopping my period i just i don't fucking like that at all so never had birth control and i actually never had any pregnancy scares prior to this guy that well prior to my baby daddy i was in a relationship for seven years and never had a pregnancy scare so i was just like you know who would have thought that i have a pregnancy scare get two fucking abortions and then after the second abortion shortly after i got pregnant again boy god damn so i went through with it um best decision i ever made i love my son he is a light in my life brings happiness to my being and belief and faith in my spirit um well he adds that even more than what I already have but after that second abortion I I kept feeling like man I cannot keep doing this to my body because I always knew I wanted to have kids I say kids but a kid because <laughs> who knows I definitely wanted to have kids and I didn't want to keep getting abortions and tearing my body up inside and not be able to have kids down the line because of these abortions and the damage that it's doing to my body so that's the reason I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go with it because I don't want to do this again I don't want to go through this again um, I can't and I can't and yes to everybody I can hear it now oh you should use protection blah 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 yeah shut the fuck up 
everybody should use protection everybody should do this but at the end of the day i'm fucking human i'm not fucking perfect and at the end of the day i didn't use protection and after that first pregnancy like i said it is easy as fuck to get pregnant again so just be prepared if you do have an abortion and you do not use protection or if you're not on some type of birth control because you don't believe in birth control trust me i get it but just just know that it's easy for you to get pregnant afterwards and weigh your options and don't allow anybody to make you feel any type of way or feel judged or feel bad for the decision you make because that is your fucking body that is your body and it is your right to make whatever decision you want to make to do with your fucking body like point blank period there's no other argument there's no discussion there's no other conversation that is your body it's your decision um but i'm gonna give you the best advice that i can is just be careful and be smart with your decision and if you are going to go that route just be ready um the shit it does get intense you know it does get intense and things happen and it's okay it is okay you are not a bad person if you are not ready to have a child because having a child is life-changing you'll be surprised at the fact that you don't want to hang out with the same people or do the same things that you used to or you know you feel like there's a, a deeper calling for you because there is and having a child will surely show that to you and yeah you might have to figure out so how do i how do i uh do this and um work or have a child and work and you know continue your career or do anything you got it you you're you going to figure it out trust me trust me it's all a process. It's all you going through a new season and changing and evolving into a different being, but you got it. So just really go with what calls to you and listen to your spirit. Do not let anybody else sway you out of your mind or sway you out of what you feel you should be doing for you. But anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. I appreciate y'all so much for listening coming to watch you know having an open mind to this because this is some real shit and i hate the fact that it seems like as women we can't even have conversations like this because there's so many people judging you and telling you what uh, trying to tell you what you should and shouldn't do with your body man fuck everybody that got an opinion on what the fuck you should be doing with your own shit do that with your own shit don't 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 try and control what's happening over here because you went for a rude awakening baby because i know i'm not one to be controlled you got me fucked up <laughs> but anyways make sure y'all like comment subscribe and share peace love and light and until next time be blessed Open up.